Hello everybody, my name is Kadamar. Welcome back for another video of Journey of Wrestling. We're gonna continue this series, boys. Now, in the last video, I actually don't remember too much what happened. I think we just continued to simulate, really. Uh, really. We had a couple of uh, good, uh, good pay-per-views, like the usual stuff. We're coming up to September, I believe. I haven't uh, taken a look at a single Indies roster right uh, just yet. I'm pretty sure I haven't offered anybody uh, anything uh, yet. So uh, we got to do that first. Uh, so let's go and do that, boys. We're already reassuring somebody and working on, uh, on the stuff. As you can see, Old Kogan's available once again. We had him. Uh, managed to work him out to work rate level 2, but he was just a bad wrestler all around. So I got rid of him, of course. We're going to try and pick up like a good wrestler. We need something good, really. Uh, Stephanie McMahon, she's she's pretty decent. She's a natural heel. Uh, work rate, level 2. I mean, she's decent. She could be a decent wrestler, I guess. But um, I'm just going to go for Randy Orton. Randy Orton, I could go for him. It says, though, that he's a dull worker somehow as well. Uh, so I don't want to go for a dull worker, boys. I want to take any chances here. Same thing for Mark Henry, for example. You know, these are types of guys normally I would go for it for because I want to have them in my roster but they're since they're dull workers there's a lot of uh, chances just like Hulk Hogan that they might have just bad matches all across the board I can't be having that you know one of them that could be very good is uh, Chris Jericho I think I want to go for him he's already level three of work rate he's super over right now which puts it at four and he's got two of charisma He's got Workhorse, Entertainment, Story Stellar, Age as well as well. Yeah, I want to have him. I want Chris Jericho, boys. He's going to be a great addition to our roster. So definitely ha add him to the mix. And uh, there, there, there it is. Just like that. So next next time, boys, we're going to have uh, Chris Jericho for the next month. So he's going to be the one we're pushing. Speaking of which, I forgot about the guy that we were pushing for. I think it's Seamus. Yeah, I think we were pushing Seamus. Yep. Because he's the new uh, new guy around, exactly. So uh, let's go. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and do our thing, boys. We're gonna, uh, I guess, we're gonna book our first pay per view for the day. Uh, I don't exactly know what I want to do here. I just gotta look it up really quick for my dice game. Uh, it seems like it's gonna be a singles match for the main uh, championship. So uh, Robin M's gonna defend his uh, uh, championship. He's been champion for an entire year. Remember that, boys champion for an entire year undefeatable right now uh, there is an injury revenge type of thing for Brock Lesnar he's already in a feud with uh, Chris Benoit though so uh, it says it's, it's got to be a singles match so we're just going to put a singles match blow it off because it's a half half of the thing right here half of the feud is uh, tiresome still basically but we are going to have a gimmick added to it uh, we're going to start over uh, because I don't actually remember where we were last time. So, uh, not an elimination match. It wouldn't make much of a sense. But explosive barbed wire match between these two. Next up, for the World Championship, Trish Stratus is going to defend her title for uh, in a singles match. So, we just got to find somebody to go up against her. It's telling me to go with CM Punk or Lita. Uh, I don't know exactly. Well, if it's telling me to go for one of these, I'm definitely going to do it, I guess. Uh, Lita or CM Punk, boys. Let's do Lita versus Trish for the world title. No, because Lita is already in a feud. So let's do CM Punk versus Trish for the world title. There we go. Add a feud between these two. Face of the company, boys. And we are actually before that. No, I'm not. I'm actually going to do previous hot, uh, hot feud. Because it's uh, it's pretty good. So that and uh, there's not going to be any gimmick matches to this one. No, we're not doing anything about that. Next up, next championship match. World Television Championship. And the Women's Champ. She's a champion of both. That's right. She's a double champ. Uh, jazz that is. So uh, what are we going to do here? She's going to defend today. Uh, I think today she needs to defend her women's title. Yeah, I think she needs to defend her women's title. So... Let's see what we do with that. It's a singles match. So we got to start a feud up. Whoever is the most popular Lita can't be in there because she's already in a feud. Uh, maybe Mickey James. She's 90% uh, over. 
a hundred percent over but we can't we don't want to go for a medusa because she's um it's uh it it's cooled off so we, we don't want that beth phoenix a hundred percent over so we could go for beth phoenix boys or gail kim we could go for gail kim or beth phoenix boys either one of them uh would do the trick uh, i'm gonna go for beth phoenix because gail kim's at uh, 25 losses in a row so yeah we're gonna uh, we're gonna wait on that one we're not gonna go for that so we're gonna start a feud between these two what do we do with that i guess previous champion yeah we can do that's my title i guess and we can do add a gimmick match we are gonna do one and we're gonna do casket match there we go and uh that's pretty much it and it's gonna be for select title it's not gonna be for the world television it's for the women's championship there it is so that's the next feud up and uh so what do we do now i guess we could add this feud up or finish it off uh, i'm just gonna let the ai decide what the what he does with the rest uh, of it all so just do single uh, just do uh that for now oh no then i didn't mean to do that sorry about that sorry about that book it up boys all right there we go so we booked it up that was right there so yeah we are gonna do that and we're gonna blow off that feud because uh, it's enough. Uh, it's enough championship feuds, so we don't want that. Uh, no, remove the feuds for that. We don't want none of them. All right. So that seems like uh, that's what the AI wanted us to have. So uh, the rest is just going to be a bunch of uh, big time, multi men match boys, big to, uh, big to the max. So ten way match, ten men match right there, just like that, and uh, the rest as well. There we go, just like that. We're gonna put them uh, over here. I guess what we're going to end up doing is because we have a lot of matches. We're just going to put that like that. All right. We're good to go. We're good to go, boys. So here's the uh, there's the first pay-per-view right here scheduled up. We've got a lot of stuff going on. Since I added these two matches, I got to add a gimmick match to it. Uh, we're going to do an elimination because we haven't done it. And I guess we are going to do an LMS match for this one. All right. Good to go, boys. Uh, we got to do the same thing as always. So do a main event package right here. Put it uh, right before the main event, of course. Uh, do we have brand new feuds? No, not at all. So we don't want to boost anything up feud wise. I think all we got to do, all we can do really, is just uh, do a promo battle. between Not a promo battle, but a backstage interview. So just a backstage interview for one of them. Uh, I don't know what I want to do. I, I guess I'm pushing Sheamus, right? So I'm going to do a backstage interview for him. Uh, where Right before his match. There we go. Perfect. That's that, that's exactly perfect. And uh, just do another uh, backstage interview to uh, try and boost whoever's the least over right here. I'm trying to really help out everyone. So who's the least over right now? It seems to be X-Pac. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of charisma though. So, um, e promo, no, I can't do that. Spirited promo either. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do here. I guess I don't have a choice though. I gotta, I gotta put it to X Pac. So, just a, an interview for X Pac as well. Uh, he's after that, I believe. Where is he at? Oh, right there. So, X Pac is interviewed right before the match. So, I, I don't know, boys. It seems like he doesn't have a like, charisma, it might not go too well. Uh, for him during that interview but we gotta try some stuff right at some point so crossing the line first pay-per-view of the day uh, right here the fans want Rob Van Dam to retain once again I mean he hasn't been champion for an entire year for nothing so he's gonna still retain once again Lita we don't, uh, we don't care about that uh, CM Punk winning the title so they want CM Punk to be the new champ and uh, next up they want Beth Phoenix to win uh, the title so uh, to be the new champ boys so we'll see how it goes Sheamus backstage interview 70% effectiveness so not too good um, he could have been way better uh, I guess he's not that good on the mic but that's okay uh, so first match right here we are pushing Sheamus uh, to the max so he's gonna get a huge win right there beat everyone up that's really good that's a five and a half star match boys fantastic next up is the other one the other 10 and 10 ways this time around elimination match don't know who i want to go for i'm just going to go for obviously the one that's the least over so the one that needs to win the most everybody's over except for goldberg 
Gilbert is the only one who's not over right now. Uh, that's uh, quite interesting. So let's just uh, give the win to Goldberg. Boom, there we go. And that's perfect because almost a six-star match from that. And everybody gains from that. Green across the board. So you like to see that everybody gains from um, popularity and overness from that. So uh, that's even greater. That's, that's fantastic for Goldberg right there. So that's a fair, good win for him. Jazz with obviously Jimmy Art on this side. Uh, she's dominating right now, but it seems like the fans wanted a new women's champ. They're tired of having a double champ, uh, which I'm kind of inclined to uh, agree with that. So we're just going to do, we're going to do throw in the towel. And Beth Phoenix wins via throw in the towel. Six and a half star match. Live lively start as well. So they have, they had a really good start uh, to the match. And that's how you want to start the feud up big time. That's really big start. Beth Phoenix is the new champ right here. She was champ for five months. A woman's champ for five months. She's still the world television champion though. So remember that she's still a champion. Uh, so we got that. And next up, throw away match between Stone Cold and Kurt Enning. Uh, we're going to give the win to Stone Cold. He's the least over right now. So give him the win. Smooth performances. There we go. Another fantastic match. Just like that. Six and a half star boys, almost a seven star. Backstage interview for X Pac, absolutely horrible. It actually hurt him. That's not good. I knew it wasn't going to be good, boys. I mean, X Pac, the problem is he's got 27, yeah, 20% 20 effectiveness. That is not good. That was a horrible promo. Let's not do that ever again. I mean, he's not good on the mic. We don't, we want him to stay away from the mic as much as possible. So I tried, I guess I'm going to give him the win nonetheless, but uh, I definitely tried to uh, to give him a boost a little bit. There we go, four and a half star match. So it's decent. It's not on that level, but it's a good match nonetheless. So at least that's going to help him a little bit. Morale change. Overness is not going up that much though. I don't know if there's something. Uh, oh, he's a bad actor. I didn't see that. Bad actor is basically uh, the same thing as Dole Walker, but for the charisma, boys, for the mic. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, he's a horrible promo guy. Oh, I couldn't have, I shouldn't have done that then. Yeah, he's, I don't know why. Not, uh, I, I don't know why he's supposed to be work rate, uh, work horse, eh? right? So I don't know why he's not over. He's not getting over fast enough. I, I, I don't get it, boys. Next up, world championship match already. Between Trish Stratus and CM Punk, they wanted CM Punk to uh, win the championship. Trish has only been champ for one month and already she's going to lose the title, boys. That's interesting. So we are going to do screw job. CM Punk wins via screw job. Just like that. Another great match. Six, uh, almost another seven star match. Good psychology and a screw job finish. So all my matches, you can see, we ha we're having a fantastic pay-per-view right now. Our pay-per-view is really good. Next up, Triple H versus Kurt Angle. Uh, let's give the win to uh, Triple H because he's the least over. So Triple H, you get a win. Boring spots. All right, then. That's interesting. I would You would think that these two would have a great wrestling match. I guess not. I, I guess they had boring spots. It's still a four-star, though. So just, uh, just think about that one. Uh, and that's right. We are blowing up that feud, but that feud was about uh, the retirement of Roddy Piper. If he wasn't going to win the title, he was going to retire, but he can't win any title. I guess he got to just win. So if he wins right here, he basically um, he, he stays. If he loses, he retires. So Roddy Piper's uh, career is on the line right here. They're both 100%. So I, I don't know which way to go right here. I legit don't know which way to go. Uh, he's a face. He's a natural charisma. So it doesn't matter where he goes. Same thing for her. For uh, So we can do the pass out finish. We can do the pass out finish, boys. Whichever one it's going to go. Uh, I think Lita is going to lose if we do the pass out finish. Which is fine by me. It just means that Roddy Piper is going to basically stay here. He's going to stay. Uh, he's not going to retire just yet. So boom. Just like that. Oh, well. Just give him the win. There we go. So pass out finish. They switch. So it's a double switch. A double turn. And uh, Ready Paper becomes heel. Lita becomes face. 
But Roddy Piper, Piper uh, even though he's a heel now, he's still, he's still in. So he doesn't retire. He won the match. He doesn't retire, boys. Great for him. So he stays, uh, he stays, boys, basically. Another great match, uh, too. So main event, last but not least, main event package, 95% effectiveness. And the world, the, so the championship, the heavyweight championship, uh, the fans obviously wanted Rob Van Dam to retain. I think we were blowing off that feud as well. So respectful end. Is Rob Van Dam uh, natural charisma or whatever? Okay, so no, we can fin uh, we can turn him if we want. We can turn both of them. Let's do a respectful end would mean that the heel turns face. The heel refuses to cheat, loses. Who's the heel right here? Oh, that's Rob Van Dam. Yeah, Rob Van Dam's the heel. So we can't do that finish. Not happening, boys. Rob Van Dam needs to win. So just give him the straight up win. And there it is. So a six and a half star match. There's some blood. There we go. Chris Benoit uh, had some blood on him. And that is a fantastic match. Another one. Another great one. So we have a really good pay-per-view right here. And uh, let's see really quick the pay-per-view. Not a five star? What? Is it because of the backstage interviews that hurt us? Or something? It must have been. Because all the matches were like six and a half, seven star. I don't know what went wrong right here. Why is it only not even a five star? It's got to be the promos that hurt in me or something. Uh, Triple H work rate went to level 3, which is really good for us. He's going to be an even better wrestler. All right, so we still have, obviously, the best amount of attendance right here. Five, over 500k. Uh, WCW keeps losing fans and stuff like that. Really good. And uh, now if we jump on in right here, we got Chris Jericho on our side. Uh, there we go. So Chris Jericho is ready to be there. Feud boosted between BF Phoenix and Jazz. Good. Reassure success for Medusa. And interested. So uh, I guess somebody is interested in us. We also have Triple H work rate going up. Yep. And also, we're still working on his work rate right here. But still, uh, since it went up, that means that we don't need to work on him anymore, boys. We were working on uh, him for his work rate, but we don't need to anymore. He's already maxed out. So we can work on somebody else. What we're going to do then is uh, look at the work rate and look at who needs to be upgraded the most right here. Uh, there's a lot of problems here, though. Uh, here comes the biggest problem of it all. Uh, Xbox is a good wrestler. It's just bad on the mic. I think the, the main problem is... We've got uh, almost only three stars, so I think I'm just gonna. I need to boost one of them. I'm gonna boost Goldberg because he's a dull worker, so he, I'm gonna mu I'm gonna go for him uh, mostly. So let's find Goldberg really quick and uh, train him up, boys. Train his work rate up, just like that. Next up, let's go back to booking. Find the morale. Whoever's that, the least amount of morale, probably still Medusa, still her. So we're still going to work on our boys for the, the morale and stuff as well. All right, so it's done. I, I went ahead and reassured Medusa. So we're going to still working on her for another month. Uh, next up, we don't have anything. Uh, we are going to push now our newcomer, which is uh, not Gail Kim, not Tajir. Where is he at? Chris Jericho. He's our newcomer. He's already a main eventer as well. He's actually the third most popular wrestler of our company. I just got him. So that's quite interesting, boys. So let's see where that leads us. So let's go into the next pay-per-view. Uh, Anarchy Rules, big pay-per-view. There's 14 events right here. Tables, uh, plus 25 hype. Submission match, plus 12 hype. Only one minus effect, which is on sanctioned matches. So we don't want to do those. But for the rest, uh, we're good to go. So uh, let's start with the first match right here. Uh, it seems like it's going to be a singles match from the looks of it. So uh, we're going to do a singles match. And we can do an injury, injury revenge. Why not? I mean, there's already a feud waiting for us against Brock Lesnar. It's telling us, though, to not go for Brock Lesnar. Instead, going for one of these three. Which I should be probably following. So I think Jake Roberts is a good option, of course. We're going to stick with the injury revenge uh, plot, boys. We're going to stick with that. And uh, for the main title. And we're also doing a gimmick. Uh, no gimmick matches for this one. No gimmick matches for this one at all. So we're just going to stick it to what it is. And uh, next up. What do we got? 
it's for the world title of course we already have a feud going on of course between her uh, him and trish which was her previous champion we actually have a multi-man match right here so we are gonna actually present everybody in here actually I, i'm gonna try and choose as much as possible right here the um the people that are super over so 100 percent 100 percent right here gotta try and find the most popular uh wrestlers around right here all right so i got everyone that's the most popular the 10 people that are most pop popular main eventers of my show uh we're gonna do that so that's that's the multi-man boys and uh, no gimmick matches to it just a simple multi-man i guess so no gimmick matches to it uh next up it's for the world television championship now they're both feuding against one another so we're going to continue the feud right here that's bound to be something happening it's just for the woman's title just simply for the woman's title that feud is and we are going to have uh, a gimmick match to that one though so uh last time was the lms so we're going to do a three a two out of three falls there we go and for the rest we can basically just do um booking style automatically book uh the, the rest there we go so the ai chose to do i guess x-pac versus keji muro we're gonna put that in between uh kurt angle versus triple h put that in between right here uh actually we're gonna do that like this there we go and uh, mickey james versus lita and sting versus mr perfect for the rest we already know we're gonna have the multi-man match once again boys i love doing just the maximum amount of uh people right here so let's just do that there we go so that's the next one we are gonna add a gimmick since this was added by itself so uh it's gonna be a false count anywhere and the last but not least tajiri versus uh terry funk i guess and it's gonna be a gimmick match of course as well uh false count so it's gonna be a first blood match so first blood match for that segments let's go back right here let's do main event package first and foremost go to it right here we do have brand new feuds so we do want to go look for that up one of those feuds up uh whichever one needs the most hype right now i think it's jazz versus beth phoenix for sure so we're gonna hype that one up a little bit uh more further and we're gonna do a promo battle for trish versus cm punk i guess so we're gonna do that and uh, that's right before this match right here there we go uh, uh, uh right here all right fantastic so that is done we can hop on in boys and do our thing so anarchy rules really good poster i love these posters that the uh, random posters that the the game makes for these pay-per-views i love them so much so what do the fans want they want rob van them to retain via uh dq so uh still i'm not gonna do the dq finish because it's gonna be a bad finish but they do want to rob them to retain once more he's been champion for a year and an entire year and one month now he's gonna stay again champion boys next up they want trish Stratus to win the title so they want her to win the title back all right then and they want bet phoenix to retain i don't know what the fans want for the world title it seems like they just like to throw it around i guess tajiri versus terry funk the least over is tajiri let's give him the win good match overall four and a half star ish match right here pretty good first blood and everything terry funk is a guy that loves this is a stiff worker so he loves dangerous work and stuff like that so that helped out the match quite a lot uh next up uh we've got a brand new wrestler right uh, not yet no so we still have sheamus we're not pushing him anymore though so he might have his first loss think it's gonna happen boys yep yeah, we already see matt already J just incredible is the least over oh scott all is the least over right here seems like goldberg is the one so goldberg at 60 percent is the one that's the least over let's get his overness up boom he gets to another w another big win by goldberg in those multi-man matches he has a five and a half star match boys really good that's only helping him out to be in good matches and all everybody gains from that though because good matches like these helps everybody up uh, in terms of overness every time so th uh, that's really good uh feud package between these two 90 percent effectiveness really good next up they wanted beth phoenix to retain so we are gonna give them that 
Last time was a throw in the towel. This time around, we can do a screw job finish and just give the win to Beth Phoenix. Up the, the boost up a little bit. Another five and a half star match. Really fantastic. There we go. And uh, next up, Sting versus Mr. Perfect. We are going to give the win to... I actually don't know because both of them are at 97% uh, overness. So bo both of them are equally uh, popular right here. So I don't know which one to go for. Because I, I guess I could go for Kurt Henning, But since Sting is the most popular one, let's just go for Sting, I guess. Right? He's got the, uh, the most amount of losses overall right now. So let's just uh, a W to Sting really quick. Could have been better compared to the other ones. I guess there wasn't any feud added to it. So nothing uh, really interesting. But still. Mickey James versus Lita. Troy match. Um, Mickey James got to get the win. She's the least over. So give her the win. There we go. Five star match. Like just a classic match overall. Nothing added special to it. No uh, bonus bonuses or anything. It's just a simple so five star boys. Fantastic match. Last but not least, promo battles for the World Championship. There we go. 100% effectiveness. A lot of hype behind it. And aside from having all these wrestlers here, of all of them, Trish Stratus directly regains the title once again. I swear, the champs are only lasting one month. I don't know why, but Trish Stratus gets the win. She wins the title back once again. I, I gotta what I, I gotta go see afterwards um, how many times she's been a world champion. So there it is. So that's a five and a half star match. Crowd interest up uh, upwards. So that's really good. Kurt Angle, uh, Kurt Angle versus Triple H once again. Another W for Triple H, of course. And this time it's even a better match. It's a better match just because there wasn't a, a bad start or anything. So uh, good. There, there we go. That's pretty good match right here over, overall. Overness going down for Kurt Angle. That's what I'm trying to do. So I'm just trying to give that overness to Triple H instead. Uh, X-Pac versus Kejimuto. We got to get the win to uh, X-Pac, I guess. Uh, is there any finish we can do? Not really. So just a simple win for X-Pac. Ends up being a pretty decent match. Pretty good match. Uh, same, same thing as the previous one. So uh, x pac is getting better. He's getting those good matches. And both of them are three stars as of now. So that's uh, pretty good in, in this in of itself. So there's another W for x pac And uh, overness for both went up as well uh, for them. So that's really good for both of them. I like to see that. Plus 5% boys. That's really good for x pac uh, Main event package. 100% effectiveness. Re you always like to see that. And once again, Rob Van Dam's going to retain versus Brock Lesnar this time around. 13 months as champ. He's about to be 14 months. The feud is starting between them, so we can do anything we want. Uh, we could do screw job, throw in the towel. We're just going to do throw in the towel. Give the win to Rob Van Dam. Boom, just like that. Classic match right there. Five and a half star match. Throw in the towel to uh, help it out. Injury revenge goes up. Really good, boys. So if we look at the pay-per-view itself, it's a five-star pay-per-view. There we go. Much better. I think the main difference last time was definitely the promos were bad all across the boards. Didn't help our matches. But this time around, we had some really good matches uh, everywhere and the promos were good. So uh, that's good. Uh, Matt, uh, Matt Hardy's gimmick is going up. Good. And uh, anything else that's interesting? Not really. Beth Phoenix and Chris Jericho both becoming face of the company, but nothing else from that. So uh, that's pretty much it for that uh, pay-per-view. Let's hop on in back. That was a lot of a tendency right there. Look at that. Just for Anarchy Rules, uh, 800k, over 800k uh, uh, attendance and plus 100k uh, fans. So that's really good. Minus 48k for um, WCW. Pretty good. You'd like to see that. We got Tajiri who wants to go off to a new company instead. Is he happy with us? He's 100% happy. Why would, he, why would he want to go somewhere else? I'm intrigued right here. I don't know why he would want to go somewhere else, boys. But, uh, I mean, if a Tajiri wants to go, uh, go somewhere else, he can. Uh, he can, I guess. I'm going to make a new stipulation that uh, 
half of the times I gotta, if I refuse somebody, I, if I decline an offer, I gotta accept another one. Uh, so it's 50% uh, boys for me, I guess now that I'm gonna put myself at. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna accept this one. I'm just gonna accept the Jiri because he's not that important to my roster. Uh, truly, he's a good wrestler, but he's not that important. So he can go and uh, go somewhere else. I had a good talk with Medusa. There we go. Boosted the morale of Medusa again. Uh, there's so much trash in the locker room. I keep telling people to pick it up, but I can't always be there. Brock Lesnar is uh, not happy about the fact that uh, we're not recycling anything or going for, for compost or something. What about new talent? Henry Coleman. Okay. November, boys. So November to remember is coming up. Uh, we've got three matches, uh, minus effect matches. I quit submission and LMS are not recommended. Uh, so we just lost the Jiri. We just lost a member of our roster. Went down by one guy, I guess. So I don't know really what to do. Aside from that, uh, Macho Man, what can we do with him? I don't want to really, really put him as a manager per se. Kind of want to keep him as, uh, as he is. I don't really know what else to do with him. So I think I'm just going to keep him like that uh, for now. And uh, that's pretty much it. If we look at the companies, really quick, job companies. I mean, look at that, 5 million. They still have 1 million, but they're probably going to lose that million in the next, after the next pay-per-view, boys. They're probably going to lose that million, uh, WCW. Once they lose that, that's the problem, right? They've got to be, uh, I think it's, I think their uh, popular ne popularness needs to be below 20 or something like that. We're at 20, which uh, Fight Wrestling, which is where Tajiri went, uh, just went. We can probably buy them off sooner or later. Or later, F Soon enough, we're probably going to be able to do that, which is uh, quite interesting. So um, I think for now, I'm going to end it right here. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know exactly, this was a pretty short video for you guys, but I don't know exactly what to do anymore. I wanted to wait for WCW to be able to be bought off and stuff. But I feel like we've done everything. We're starting to really not have any other options right now, aside from just waiting. And at this point, it's just us doing quick successions of pay-per-views and all. So I, I don't know, boys. I just... There's a game coming up as I'm talking. Uh, there's a game coming up or already that came out. I already, probably already played it for you guys, which is Biomutant. So I'm waiting for that game, which looks like a fantastic game to me. And uh, I don't know what else. There's I don't know if there's any other games. There's some games that are interesting. I might play. I might not play them. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I might have to put up a poll on that one. But... Uh, Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this series so far. I might not come back to it or just postpone it. We'll see how it goes. Uh, keep it easy, boys.